Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And today we are looking at two very different ladies and their relationships with Harry in particular. And the first is in fact Ons. We are looking at Ons today. Uh, it's a bit Bertie Wister, um, the aunts, the good aunt and the bad aunt, the scary aunt and the, and the lovely aunt. We're looking at the not so scary aunt first, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and her unexpected appearance at an event Prince William was attending at, RAF, at the RAF College in Cranwell was the Sovereign's Parade. Prince William showed up and she allegedly heard he was in the area. She happened to be around about the same time in the same place. And so she showed up. She wanted to support him. He was coming back to work after a summer break. And so she showed up and she was very strategically in the background in the photos of Prince William at the um, RAF College. Now, this came out not too long after we heard stories about Harry being uh, put up at Althrop by Earl Spencer and visiting Mummy Diana's grave and being invited for Christmas and all of this stuff. And lo and behold, there's Lady Sarah showing up unexpectedly to support Prince William. So a lot of people thought that there was quite a pointed message about whose side the Spencers really are on. But then it got spun, as of course all these things get spun. And we heard from a very dodgy news source that uh, Lady Sarah is the one who is trying to force a reconciliation or orchestrate a reconciliation between Prince William and Prince Harry and that allegedly she got them together at a secret meeting when Harry was back in the UK for his uncle's funeral and she is the one who is trying to get this to happen. She is the one um, who is going to end the feud. We've had culprit, uh, and people who've been uh, told that they're going to end the feud before Zara. I think even Pippa has been um, fingered as the one who's going to end the feud. Now Lady Sarah McCorkadale. So of course we are going to look at this and see how inclined she is to end the feud and uh, what that, meet, that um, appearance, that unexpected appearance was uh, what message was there for perhaps the has-been? I'm using the terror of curious creatures because I am very curious to know what's really going on with Lady Sarah, uh, what she feels about Harry, what she feels about William, um, why she showed up there, what message was involved. Did she really get the two together? After all, we heard about them not even looking at each other, not acknowledging each other at the funeral. Or oh, it wasn't a funeral, it was a memorial service, apologies. And uh, what does she think about reconciliation? And is she inclined to try her, her best to, to get the two feuding brothers? They aren't feuding. Prince William isn't feuding. Prince William has just decided to have nothing to do with the has-been and the has been seems to be all over the place trying to force uh, Prince William to uh, give him some attention. That's my opinion and of course this is just tarot and it is just for fun and entertainment and it is all just my opinion and speculation. We look at the energy around these stories to see what we can see. Archetypal stories, archetypal royal family and there is a disclaimer in the box below and please read it and form your own opinions about this and all the stories that I do on this channel. So Lady Sarah McCorkadown, what is she up to? What does she think about William and Harry? And uh, why was she there? And uh, did she really do that meeting? And is she really interested in being peacemaker? That's what we're on today with the Tarot of Curious Creatures. Haven't used them for a while, I don't think. Let's see what they have to tell us. Today is a Monday afternoon here, the most perfect, perfect spring day here in South Africa. And not lasting for long though, apparently. Winter is coming back for a last hurrah, hopefully. Let's see what we have. We have, oh, we've got the magician and reverse spin. The spin doctor, well, she with her Hotmail account, possibly. Magician is, of course, spin. 
it's mind games, it's uh, manifesting, it's making fetch happen, especially when it's in reverse, trickster energy, the magician, it's mercury energy, it's um, putting stories out, putting spin on things to try and persuade us of something, or even to try and manifest something that you're not really going to succeed at manifesting, but you're going to give it a damn good try anyway with that magician card in reverse. So we know the territory that we are in because that is our underlying energy. And so I think it tells its own tale. Let's see the issue that we're dealing with today with poor lady Sarah. We've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's Harry's energy, Harry in his shadow aspect. Harry who um, has failed um, signally to be the big cheese because the king of pentacles is the big cheese the big boss the financial whiz uh, the one who settled and established and um, has done well for himself and is the good husband and the good provider and the good boss and all of that stuff the lasting legacy the king of pentacles as well it's in reverse so uh, has been as the problem, the problem child turning 40 and is now the problem middle-aged man, which is always awkward and uncomfortable for everyone. And uh, so, yeah, Harry, Harry the problem. So that's what we're dealing with. So very clear so far. So let's see what she thinks of the two brothers. Prince William first. How does she see Prince William right now? Yeah, ten of wands, not surprising. Completely burdened carrying the world on his shoulders prince william i think she's very very worried about him he's got his wife's health issues to worry about his father's health issues to worry about a young family to worry about he's got his royal duties to worry about and then he's got this ungrateful brat of a brother the king of pentacles in my opinion ungrateful brat of a brother in reverse there so as I say, the weight of the world on his shoulders, she's very worried about him. She was showing up there to show him that she, he has family on his side. Absolutely. It's making me quite emotional um, as I'm saying that. Of course, her sister's son and um, doing her best for him. Very, very worried about him. What does she think of has been? There he is. The Hermit, he's shown up in his major arcana, Virgo card. We're in Virgo season at the moment. That's Harry, but that's Harry. The Hermit, of course, apart from being the Virgo major arcana, is somebody who's isolated, somebody who's withdrawn, who's um, even cut off from their family. He's, an, uh, he's far away. He did come back briefly for that memorial service, but... For the most part, he's absolutely isolated in his life in America. He is now forced to socialize with Megan's friends, not his friends. There was no sign of that birthday hike, that lad's weekend that he was going on, which turned out to be a, sol a, a, a rather solitary walk with his bodyguard, who's now his best friend. There was no sign of that. Maybe something's coming out now today. Of course, I'm way ahead of America time-wise. But so far, all we've seen was that he was at that charity tennis match with Megan's friends. So that's the hermit. Okay, so we got that picture sorted out. Why did she show up uh, when Prince St. William was at the, um, uh, in, at the RAF college? What, what was that about? Why did she show up? And uh, we got the Seven of Swords. And it's in reverse. Um, it's quite an odd energy to show up because it's normally it's the sneaky card, the ghosting, the disappearing act, the stealing, the thief, the rogue, the scoundrel, and it's in reverse. Um, she's not accusing Prince William of doing any of those things. Um, I think it's because of all of the messaging that's been going on about the Spencer family and this kind of behind the scenes energy which for me as an energy reader I would say that that is Harry Harry skulking around and all this cloak and dagger stuff and all this messaging we got about him um, visiting Althrip and all of that 
um, which is the cloak and dagger energy that the Seven of Swords has about it and all the messaging and all of that stuff, PR spin. And I'm saying that quite confidently because of the Magician card as the underlying energy Magician card in reverse. So I think she's trying to stop that because the Seven of Swords is in reverse. So all this messaging we've been getting about how Harry uh, has the Spencers on his side and they support him and they've invited him for Christmas and he is more Spencer than the Spencers are. She was shutting that down. Uh, that uh, sneaky energy. She was putting it in reverse and saying, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Don't claim that because it's not true. That's uh, an absolute lie, I could say. That's my opinion. And so what is the message that she was sending out by showing up? And uh, we got the Hierophant in reverse. And it's about doing the right thing. The Hierophant has got many meanings. It's the teacher, it's the hierarchy, organizations, it's the church, it's gurus, it's all that kind of thing. But it's also just taking the high road and showing up and doing good. Isn't that the, the, the logo for Archie Well and that Harry and Meghan are touting now, show up and do good. They're not showing up and doing good. She is basically sending a message out saying, you're not doing the right thing. This one is doing the right thing. This one is doing the right thing. You are not doing the right thing. Um, showing support for somebody who's very burdened, very burdened by this burden that he's got on him as well, that he's got to do the right thing. He's got to support the monarchy, whereas the other one, is undermining the monarchy skulking energy here above it so i think it was a message do the right thing do the honorable thing and um instead of undermining the monarchy and your brother how about supporting him given that he is so burdened there with the ten of ones so i, I do think that there was that message that is of course my opinion my personal opinion Tell us about this alleged meeting that came from quite a dodgy news source. Um, so I don't give it much credence, but I would like to test the energy around this notion that she somehow managed to get William and Harry together for a private meeting. Tell me about that. I've got the two of pentacles. She might have. Uh, with that because it's two opposing forces in the two of pentacles that you have to juggle and you have to balance the notion of a meeting isn't really there they might have been standing on each side of her with a cup of tea in, in the hand um, because there was a, a a kind of a thing afterwards um before they went their separate way. So it's giving me that sense. Bit like she did at the uh, Diana statue unveiling, that awful statue in the gardens at Kensington Palace, horrifyingly bad. Um, and she was very present. She, she was acting as a buffer between the two. So I think they were there literally in the same space. And of course they were. So if you can stretch that to a secret meeting, a private meeting, um, I would say, after the event, when everybody was gathered and ha having a cup of tea, I'm sure there was cups of tea, um, Lady Sarah was between them and perhaps talking to William and then turning and talking to Harry. And so they were kind of together, but not together. That's the energy that I'm getting from that. And of course, that's me again and my opinion. Where is the story coming from? Why are we getting it? Who's behind it? We already have the trickster on the table and also the seven of swords on the table. So where is this coming from? It's coming from ten of swords in reverse. It's coming from someone who is feeling very defeated, um, down and out, um, but trying to, it's, it's, it's the hand that rises from the grave at the end of a horror film when you think you've killed the monster and it's all over and the, 
the little lovebirds are driving away, finally relief, and then the hand reaches up from the grave. That's the kind of energy that's coming to me from the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's trying to rise up from the dead and remember me. It's that kind of energy. Don't you forget I'm still here and we're still here and we're still a force to be reckoned with. No, you're not. The Hollywood reporter just done a takedown on you which she's trying to spin into something iconic. We're going to look at that because it's just revolting. Uh, but not today. So I think it's coming from Montecito and I think it's coming from this notion of desperation, this, this sense of desperation, not notion. Um, Lady Sarah and this reconciliation narrative that's been pushed. Does she believe in it? Does she want it? Is it something that she can imagine or believe in? Judgment is forgiveness, yes. Very clear. There are lots of very clear answers in this. Some, some are a bit, uh, a bit kind of weird, but uh, that card is forgiveness. It's the second coming, second chance. Forgive somebody, forgive their sins, they rise from the grave, they're judged, they're forgiven. All is lovely. She believes in it emphatically. And I know absolutely nothing about Lady Sarah, but it's a good Christian message. Turn the other cheek and uh, on we go. And yes, I know there's all kinds of things that have to happen in the forgiveness process. There has to be remorse and penitence and all of that kind of stuff. But she believes in it emphatically. Is she the one to do it? Seven of Wands is a very defensive energy. I don't think she wants this job. Um, I think that it's everybody is defensive in this situation. Prince William is defensive. I don't want to do this. Why should I do it? I'm right. I'm on the high ground. I'm the one that's been attacked. And I'm sure that there has been the brat of a brother. That's my opinion of him. Um, is saying exactly the same over in Montecito. And if anyone is trying to push this reconciliation narrative, it's this Ten of Swords in reverse energy because there is desperation in the air, absolute desperation in the air. And this narrative is being pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. Um, and I think it's being pushed by Megan. That's my personal opinion. So I think everybody is standoffish. Everybody is saying, no, don't, don't make me do it. It's not me. I don't think she wants this job at all. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands doesn't get involved. It stands back and says, stay away from me. That's the energy that I'm getting. It's not, not something that she imagines herself doing. She does want it. She does believe in it. But I think she thinks, mm, 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 not for me to do. She might have had a quiet word somewhere along the line. But we've seen from the fact that she showed up. And I think she showed up really to counter all the spin that was going on with the Seven of Swords in reverse. And to very pointedly say to the two in Montecito, you are breaking rules. You haven't learned your lessons. You are undermining the royal family. You are undermining somebody who should be, you should be supporting in his hour of need with that ten of wands there, and really do better. You can do better. Um, again, quite a profound spiritual message. The Hierophant is a spiritual card, like the Judgment card is a spiritual card. Has been in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, as the central issue in this reading. Hermit as well. And um, so they've all shown up, really. And um, that's it. I don't think that she's going to be... Uh, playing peacemaker and getting a Nobel Prize for it at some stage. But that is, of course, my personal opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.